Gaming so sexist. Gaming is evil. Everything needs to change. No, I don't play video games, but everything needs to change. I'm such a victim. I don't know how to get on with my life. And also, I'd like to thank Satan and my clan leader. This video makes me want to end my life. What is happening? Holy fucking shit. Look at the dislike to like ratio right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is something to fucking aim for. I'm a right. I'm a right. That's something to fucking aim for. NBC News. Breaking records of retardation and dislikes around the nation. <gasps> that kind of rhymed. I didn't mean for that to happen. Oh my god. Oh, Dr. Seuss is a Nazi, right? <laughs> Dr. Seuss is white supremacist and, and lesbian stuff. Didn't you hear about Dr. Seuss? Dr. Seuss is racist. <laughs> white supremacy and gaming, same thing. We all fucking know it. NBC fucking news, everybody. If you've never heard of them before, they're bullshit. They fucking, they just news. So this piece of journalism comes from NBC news. It's called how gamers are facilitating the rise of the alt-right. Why? How? Monica, you're a gamer. You're facilitating the rise of the alt, right? No, no, of fucking course we're not. That's, that's so stupid. I can't even put that on a spectrum. It's de there's, some, there's a fucking spectrum involved in this story. I fucking know there is. So NBC News put out this hit piece about fucking Nazis and the alt right using Discord to organize their little shindings. Uh, so obviously gamers are Nazis. End of video. We're done here. We can go home now. The white supremacists have won. We can all just stop pretending. Fucking what? Let's just watch some of this fucking video, okay? You've got to see this shit. Look at these fucking morons with the tiki torches. Before white supremacists, neo-Nazis, and white nationalists marched in Charlottesville, Virginia in August, they were organizing behind a computer screen. And a lot of that organizing happened through a messaging service called Discord. All right. But it also happened on Facebook and Twitter. And you're not... You're not going after them. So why Discord, I wonder? Which was originally created to connect video game players to one another. Oh, that's right. Yes, because it was created for video gamers who you do not fucking like. <laughs> Watch how a male guardian sits down, taking a load off after a long, hard day fighting the forces of you evil. You need to evil. stop it's everything. It's simple. It's suggestive. What are you doing with your life? The female character sits down, however. Look at you. you. You just know, you just know who's behind this fucking video, right? You know it's the free, the free fucking witches. <laughs> the, the, the fucking holy trinity of feminism. You know it. We know it. So clearly, Discord and Nazis and gamers are all connected because Nazis use it. It's free and it's better than Skype. Of course, the white supremacists are using it. If you create a platform that does really well and it works really well and it's free, people are going to use it. All kinds of people are going to use that platform, whether they're black supremacists, white supremacists, old ladies, probably not old ladies, but everybody you can imagine is able to use Discord. But I guess a lot of progressives don't use it and dem feminists stay away from it. So that's problematic. This is just the latest in the long running shared history between the gaming community and the alt-right. There's a long running history between gamers and the alt-right. So basically, if you're a gamer, you're about a hair away from donning a fucking clan hood and just joining them. Like what, bitch, what? How are you making this connection? Oh, Nazis used Discord and gamers use Discord and therefore, they're just one and the same. We're all fucking Nazis. I was just looking around to see if I had some white paper I could make into like a cone and put on my head, but I do not. Oh wait, shit. My clan hood doesn't fit anymore. Does it fucking look good? Does it look good on me? Better, because I'm a fucking Nazi now, apparently. Clan better fit me a proper fucking hood, though. Also, check this. Did you see that little hood? Look at the little hood. Clitoral hood! Look at it! Between the gaming community and the alt It's black. It's supposed to be white. I mean, get it right. <laughs> Connecting the dates. I've got a fucking cork board. I should go and get it and do a little skit, but I'm too fucking lazy. The gamers of the alt-right. 
culture has always been racist, it's always been sexist, but the internet has sort of allowed us to just sort of see what has always been there. That's a pretty strong fucking comment. Gaming, gaming culture's always been racist and it's always been sexist? Well, I don't know any black lesbian gamers. No, no, they just don't fucking exist. <laughs> but seriously, if gaming culture's so sexist, how do you explain people like me? I, I mean, I'm a part of the culture, right? I mean, I've, I've played video games for a long time. I love playing video games. It's a lot of fun. Am I, am I sexist now? Am I fucking racist now? Have I been contributing to a white supremacy without knowing about it somehow? Because <sighs> logic <laughs> or lack the fucking of. I mean, I'm perfectly fine with gaming culture the way it is. Well, I mean, some of it's a little, a little rough for my lacking, but you know, I just, I don't give a shit. It's just, it's just a meme, bruh. I never used to game online too much, so I never really experienced the, the, the back and forth that gamers had like for a long time when I was younger because I just never had internet, you know? But now I do. And now I talk as much shit as that 11 year old kid who tells me I should use my controller as a vibrator because it would be more use. I just call him a fucking virgin and move on with my life. It's funny. <laughs> it's just a part of playing the fucking game. So in other words, women are not pussies. We're a part of the gaming culture that you are shitting all over but carry on. Emma Vossen is a PhD candidate studying how sexism seeded in gaming is replicated in the real world. Her study is based on Gamergate. Oh, well, really? She's a PhD candidate who's fucking, what is she studying? She's fucking doing something on fucking Gamergate. God, what kind of fucking degree are you getting? English. She's getting a PhD in English, guys. Okay. Well, if I need help knowing how to fucking spell misogyny, I'll give you a call. But until then, why, why are you chiming in, lady? <laughs> Do you frequent the gaming sphere? Are you just another one of these fucking Anita Sarkeesians who sticks the fucking craw in places where it doesn't belong in order to try and change things that you're not even a part of in the fucking first place? Anita Sarkeesian had to fake being a gamer. I'm sorry, but she had to fucking fake it and she admitted it. So what the fuck? <laughs> Bitch, sit down. Stop trying to save us, okay? We're fine. Women who game are fine. Leave us alone. We can handle it. And if we can't, we can just fucking leave. Because we're not, we're not, we're not morons. <laughs> we're not going to demand a safe space, is what I'm saying. The only reason I had a problem with, our, uh, what's her face? Anita Sarkeesian was because she was advocating for change where she didn't fucking need to be. Like, you don't, why are you trying to change something you don't involve yourself in? Like, I'm not going to bust into my local crochet lessons down at the fucking church and be like, no, you're all doing it wrong. You need to fucking stop because I don't like the way you do it. I know I don't do it myself and I don't belong here, but I'm going to tell you how to do it because I don't like the way you do it. Lady, no, go away. In other words, she doesn't play video games. She's not a fan. It's not a hobby, but I want change. <laughs> Bitch, fuck off. No. If female gamers felt attacked by male gamers, we would fucking say something. Stop thinking you know what's best. Just let artists create art, okay? Don't don't fuck with the, the, the gaming creators, okay? Don't let them like be afraid to create whatever the fuck they want. They shouldn't be worried about whether or not they have enough white and black characters so there's no fucking way that you could call them racist or sexist or, you know, baby rapist for doing something really fucking my mum, just really something stupid that you have to cherry pick and be like, no, that's sexist. No, that's racist. You can't do that. You can't do this. Sorry. I'm going off on a fucking tangent. We going off into the weeds now. <laughs> I'm sorry. We'll get back to this fucking trash piece of shit video. <laughs> began with intimidating and harassing female video game journalists under the guise of fairness in video game journalism. The harassment quickly gained traction. It helped catalyze the alt-right movement, which secured power- Weren't these tweets? These tweets were very suspicious. You remember that shit? Like, they were all screenshotted a minute after they were sent. Like, somebody was hanging around the notifications waiting for them to happen. I'm sure it was just a coincidence. I'm sure it wasn't fucking fake shit. And also, like, most of the people who supported Gamergate were liberal. They were fucking lefties. They were liberals. What's your point? So, yeah, there was some there was some people on the right who supported Gamergate. 
But a lot of them were liberal, so what the fuck are you talking about? The alt-right movement, which secured power and prominence during the 2016 election cycle. When you were studying Gamergate and you were really looking at the techniques that they used, it's impossible not to see the same techniques being used by Trump supporters. Memes? Bitch, are you talking about the memes? <laughs> oh shit! I'm sorry, I couldn't breathe then for a second. So, because gamers meme and Trump supporters meme were Trump supporting Nazis now? <laughs> I don't get it, I don't understand. This video makes me want to end my life. What is happening? I've never seen anything this fucking stupid. <laughs> okay, I'm ready, I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> According to Vossen, the gamers and the alt-right share common ground. Random footage of someone randomly playing a game, that's nice. They're not wearing a clan's hood, no? Should've, you should've panned up. You would've been able to see their fucking clan hood! As people who are marginalized are fighting for equality, those who've traditionally had privilege, you know, especially white men, feel that they are being oppressed by these people who are trying- Okay, first of all, lady, you're not fighting for equality. You're fighting for supremacy and you fucking know it. And second of all, it wasn't that long ago when gamers were the marginalized ones. I mean, for some of my younger audience, you not you might you won't might maybe not remember the days, but video games used to be for nerds, you know, like you know, basement dwelling, acne ridden fat virgins. That was the uh stereotypical gamer, and they were most definitely marginalized. When I was a kid, it wasn't that bad, but you know, my friends who are a little older than me were definitely bullied because they played video games. But now everybody plays video games mainstream. I mean, this bitch that's talking is... She's she's like representing a fucking... She's she's representing this crowd, this institution almost. Yeah, she, she's getting a fucking PhD. And she, she's marginalized. Bitch, you're not marginalized. Sit down. Ah, oh, just carry on. African Americans are dirty, they're stingy, and they're just gross. Xbox Live. You found somebody talking shit in Call of Duty? Oh my god, no way! Maybe they were an actual racist! Holy shit! You found a fucking racist. I guess. What the fuck? What, what? I'm just I'm just really struggling to find what the point of this fucking video is. Like when he what what are, you, what are you trying to say? Say it. Just fucking say it. I've been placed I'll let them say it. I'm sorry. Xbox Live and PlayStation Network both allow players to chat live while gaming. They have become havens for hate speech against women and minorities. They've become havens for hate speech against women and minorities. Uh, let me just check my fucking Twitter feed, cause I saw some really interesting shit today! Ban all men, replace them all with women of colour, men slash white people, you've had your millennia and you fucked it up. Bye. Uh, bitch, you look pretty fucking white to me. I mean, uh, maybe my eyes are deceiving me. Whatever. Oh, it's time for women to take over as the dominant sex. We men have been screwing everything up for millennia, time for women to take over, seriously. God, what a pussy. Cannot be sexist against men because they have never been oppressed. Men have always had the power. So if you oppress them, because they've never been oppressed, they can't be oppressed. Yeah, yeah, makes total fucking sense. Racist against white doesn't exist. Heterophobia doesn't exist for the same reason. <sighs> it's almost like you're talking about the majority privilege. I'm checking my notifications because I can't be fucked with this anymore. Look, this, this twerking child is more interesting than this NBC bullshit. Get on with it. Just get back to it, Goro. You can do this. You can pull through. The point is, Twitter has become a haven for knobheads to be racist uh, and sexist towards white men. It's a haven of hate speech. Just like Discord is a haven of hate speech. It's fucking hilarious. Let's just keep going. What, what also, Gamergate was about ethics. What I had noticed and witnessed was what, what I call like linguistic profiling, like just based on how somebody sounds, you know, they kind of lash out in like very like a, inappropriate ways. The vote's for mission. They allow girls to play Call of Duty in America? Wow, they allow morons to play Call of Duty in America? You see? He said something stupid and she hit him back. Who gives a shit? 
uh, by your own standards, she's just as bad as him. She's contributing to a racist and sexist culture. Right? Not everyone in the gaming community is sexist or racist. Oh, thank you. Isn't that nice? Isn't that lovely? Thank you. We are having this sort of internal cultural problem with sexist and racist gamers. That's some fucking great timing, that is. That's, that's quality editing. So what happens when these behaviors move from the gaming world to the real world? Look at all these fucking gamers! With the southern comfort flags or whatever the fuck that flag is. What 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 do they call that flag again? D d d thing. <sighs> Confederate flag, that's the word. The fucking the Confederate flag. The KFC flag. Look at them all. Gamers out and about in the street for once and they're not playing Pokemon Go. Also just what did you fucking say? Rewind that again, huh? Yeah. So what happens when these behaviors move from the gaming world to the real world? Well, I don't know if you fucking noticed, but racism and sexism has been around a lot longer than video games. What the fuck is your point? Like, seriously, you're bringing up all this asinine shit and then, like, connecting it to gamers through some far-fetched fucking mental gymnastics. What are you on about? Just step. Step. Just... What are you doing? Discord is anonymous and lightly monitored, which allowed the alt-right to control communications and access for thousands of users. And where are they now? <laughs> it's like one of those fucking shows about child stars. Where are they now? We don't know. We don't know where they've gone. They're probably on the deep web doing nasty shit. We'll never know. And that's thanks to you. So well done. <laughs> well done, bitch. What? what? Oh. Some Discord servers controlled by alt-right leaders made users post pictures of their Caucasian skin in order to participate. What? Some Discord servers controlled by alt-right leaders made users post pictures of their Caucasian skin in order to participate. Let me just, uh... Uh, let me just, uh... This uh, allowed the alt right to centralize. Just one, one fucking quick minute here. <laughs> That's beautiful, girl. Okay, look at this fucking white supremacy at work. Oh, fucking Trisha Paytas is, is 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 the next Taylor Swift, in the way that Taylor's a Nazi. Apparently, did you hear about that shit? I think she gon' sue them. You go, girl. You fucking rip them a new one. I want you to fuck them up. Oh shit, it's copywritten. I'm horny. <laughs> I'm horny. Uh, Come on. My Discord, ladies and gentlemen. Clearly, we need to do some fucking cleaning. Alright, who we got? Let's see. Ass rolls. Definitely a white man. I've seen him. He's a neck beard. He got a beard. He's a manly man. <laughs> We've got me, degenerate, mother of memes, breaker of chains. Don't even fucking worry about it. Needy Chan. Needy Chan is white. He likes waifus. To biggie, bruh. The token judo. Because <laughs> we don't want people to think we're white supremacists. Uh, Haley, she's from the South. She's definitely a white supremacist because, you know, she loves butter and she's from the South. Uh, Ramfrost. He's Australian. I don't think he's racially pure enough. I don't know who the fuck Sneeze Tease is. Who the fuck is Sneeze? Oh, never mind. That's an old bitch. That's definitely a white old bitch. Tyra. He's half black. He has to go. All right. I feel like I uh, cleaned up some house. Got rid of the racially impure. I'm feeling good about my racist self. After facing pressure, Discord shut down the servers used to organize in Charlottesville. The company stated, We will continue to take action against white supremacy, Nazi ideology, and all forms of hate. We should see if uh, we can pressure fucking Discord into getting Antifa off the, off the Discord. Because Antifa used Discord. I'm sure Antifa play video games too. Some people in Antifa play video games. Clearly they're fucking Nazis. Because they play video games and they're using the Discord. So, I mean, this is just embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry. He's no stranger to video games. Oh. In 2010, his mother filed a complaint against him, claiming he struck her in the head and locked her in the bathroom because she told him to stop playing video games. 
So a guy with a history of violence hit his mum or some shit because she said stop playing video games. And then later on in his life, killed someone in Charlottesville. Well, the connection is real then. You found a guy. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm sure there's plenty of people who are already violent who, uh, I don't know, make origami. What if it was his mum? What if his mum told him to stop making origami and he slapped a shit clean out of her? And then later in life, kills a woman in Charlottesville. Are you going to try and ban origami? <laughs> Are origami makers going to be fucking white supremacists all of a sudden? Like, what the fuck connection? Are you this was embarrassing, NBC. Let's see the fucking credits on this. <laughs> oh my god. Emma Vossin. Fucking PhD in English, guys. She knows all about the Nazis and all about dim gamings. Because PhD. You know what? Come to think about the alt-right using Twitter... Didn't uh, didn't the progressives or the SJWs or someone try to ban them? They got a they got a bunch of like alt right like prominent people banned on Twitter, and then they had to reinstate them because of the backlash that they got. And I'm pretty sure that's that that's when they were verified after after they were reinstated. So basically, your campaign to get the alt right banned off of Twitter ultimately just got them verified. But don't worry, the left isn't contributing to to any kind of no, they're not doing that. <laughs> Surely not. That's not like the left. I say the left, but I think in this case, I mean progressives. I don't even fucking know anymore, to be honest with you, because I'm on the left. So I guess I'm talking about myself. I don't even I'm fucking know anymore. I'm so confused. Am I a Nazi? I need to know. I mean, it's just not representative of reality at all. That, that in my opinion, it's just fucking not. You have to look long and hard to find some real Nazis. Like, I mean, come on. There aren't just Nazis. Oh my god. I, I think I stroked. I think I shit myself a little. <laughs> so yeah, I, th I think that these people are just going after Discord because gamers use it. And the alt-right used it. Oh, so therefore gamers must be Nazis. Y'all know... That that's why I mean they fucking hate gamers. These people just fucking hate us. <sighs> Gaming so sexist. Gaming is evil. Everything needs to change. No, I don't play video games, but everything needs to change. I'm such a victim. I don't know how to get on with my life until women are just fucking everything. Women should be everything. All men are sexist. All video game gamers rape babies. All all video gamers go around bashing the gays and the womans the womans and the jews and the whatever fucking else minority just insert minority that's what gamers are bashing these days but seriously i need to go and find a black lesbian gamer so i can parade her in the faces and be like does that spot not exist in your bullshit narrative does she not does she not do oh <sighs> All right, I have to end this fucking video. I don't know what this was, guys. I just wanted to bring this to your attention because I'm just fucking tired of it now. I'm genuinely tired of this progressive bullshit. And normally I, d I don't make videos like this because, you know, but this one involves gaming, so I've got an excuse. I, I, I just have one message for the people who put this video together. Get in the fucking bin. And also, I'd like to thank Satan and my clan leader. Uh, let me know what you think about this bullshit in the comment section. Do you think I'm wrong? Am I crazy? Am I genuinely fucking nutty? Because sometimes, sometimes I think that like I'm, 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 I'm fucking elderly and I'm like that old woman who's on, who's just like hanging out the window being like, get the fuck off my grass. But I'm also racist, you know, because I was born in a different time. You know, like one of those old ladies who's always talking about the African Negro to watch my collets. And she's just like, you know, she's not racist, but she's saying racist shit. And I'm, I'm like, am I so out of touch? Am I out of touch? Am I out of touch? Am I? I need to know. I need your honest opinion on this because I don't fucking know anymore. Am I crazy? Am I an Etsy? Am I? 
God, you're dusty. I got a dusty bow. Am I a fucking Nazi? What the fuck does that say? My reply is no. I'm not an Nazi, confirmed. All right, guys, I'm, I'm gonna go. I got a stream. I got a stream to get to. I'm 20 minutes late. It's fine, I'm usually 40 minutes late. Share, like, subscribe, it, guys. Share, subscribe, comment, favorite. Uh, you'll find some links in the description if you wanna help support the channel. I'll see you in something else tomorrow. Maybe. Hopefully. 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 <laughs> All right. Take care of yourself now. Bye. Bitch. Ah. Uh, savior of the universe. <laughs> what is wrong? What are we doing? Flash Garden. Flash Garden is a confirmed white supremacist doll.